G'day guys, this is Lee from Yarra Leisure. Welcome to your next workout. It's kind of a yoga style workout, more of like a sequenced functional pattern movement, but you'll see what I mean fairly shortly. You won't need any equipment. You might want to have a mat. We will be on our knees a little bit, so if you need a bit of extra cushioning under your knees, go for that. Otherwise, it's just you and your own body weight. Um, obviously, always follow your doctor's instructions. If you have any injuries, maybe just lay off a little bit. Um, and if there's anything that you can't perform during the workout, please don't push through and try to attempt to do it. Just listen to your body and keep yourself safe at all times, okay? And I'll provide little um, regressions or progressions along the way. All right, let's get started. We're gonna come down onto our knees to, to begin. The workout is gonna be in the format of five rounds of a single sequence. And each sequence will be done on the right side and then on the left side. We'll use the first round as our warm-up and our really key explanation round. So I'll talk you through the sequence nice and slowly, and it'll be a bit slower and a bit stronger. And then as we go on into the next rounds, then reps of each exercise along the way will increase and we can start to increase the pace, okay? So we're gonna start in a plank position, which means we're just gonna warm up the wrists a little bit before we get there. So come onto your hands and knees and rock back and forth over your wrists. You can do circles. You can do little V shapes, W shapes, any letter of any alphabet that you like to do. The important thing is that you're just loading up these hands, pressing down through the knuckle at the base of your forefinger and particularly through the base of your thumb. Um, so that your wrists get used to taking your weight, because we'll, we will be in high plank for a little bit of today. You can twist your fingers out so that they face the outside of your mat or towards the walls on either side of you and shift left and right. And then keep spinning your hands around into the, in the same direction so that your fingers face back towards your knees and you can slowly dip your hips back to your ankles. Nice stretch through the forearms, this one, and really tests range of that hip, sorry, that wrist. All right, spin the fingers back around, a couple, few more little shapes. If you need to do a bit more, please feel free, pause the video, kind of jump back in. Otherwise, we'll get going now. So as I said, we'll start in the high plank position, which is hands about shoulder width apart and directly underneath your shoulders, and then stepping up. We want to squeeze our glutes here so we tuck our pelvis underneath. And we want to find extension out through the top of the head. So this rounded plank you see a lot of people do, we want to just lengthen that out a bit, okay? Still tucking the pelvis, still nice and neutral spine, no arching in the back, but we want it to be a nice straight line. From here we're going to raise the right leg, and we're going to step it forward to just behind the right wrist or inside the hands, whatever's available to you, and we'll slowly come up into this position. The beginning of each round will start in this position and we're gonna do 10 of these small little pulses. They're really wonderful for your hip mobility and I'm sure by the end of this workout, you'll be sweating and you will have had a great workout but your hips will be a little bit open as well, okay? So in this position, we wanna stack our shoulder directly on top of our hip and our hip directly on top of our knee. So nice straight line here. No pushing forward like this, no arching back. It's all about these stacked joints, knee, hip, and shoulder. In that position, you wanna, you wanna squeeze that glute from the leg that's on the ground. So that's our left leg. Squeeze that left glute, and imagine that you've got a piece of string or a rope attached to the front point of your left hip, pulling you directly out into a straight line in front of you. So squeeze the left glute and just pulse. The hip goes forward, but the shoulder stays where it is, and obviously the knee stays where it is on the ground. This is the point where you might want a bit of extra padding under your knee. You can do this with a tucked back toe or flat on the top of the ground, as I've done. We're just gonna do 10 of these pulses. I'm up to about seven now. Eight, nine, and 10. Then tuck the back toes, and we're gonna stand up into a nice high lunge position. So this nice high lunge position don't worry about having your feet too far apart. What I want is activation through this back leg. This back hamstring is engaged. My back glute is engaged, my left glute. And my hips, you'll see, are facing square towards the wall 
in front of me. I'm not twisted open like a warrior two position in yoga. It's all straight in front of me. My core is engaged. My chest is high, but my ribcage isn't flaring. I've got length through the back of my neck. And there's like, there's a string, that piece of string cue again, up to the top of uh, the roof or up towards the sky. In that position, we're just gonna perform one lunge, okay? So back knee comes down and then pushing back up. Body goes straight up and down like an elevator there. From here, hands come together in front of the chest, twist to the right, and bring the left elbow onto the fleshy part above the right kneecap. Now, I don't want you to do this common, re really common thing that, that happens in yoga where we hook the elbow to deepen the twist. I want all the twists to come from your rib muscles, from your, uh, your rib, your core muscles, from your oblique muscles, and I want that elbow to rest on top of the knee so it prevents you from deepening the twist. From here, we're gonna shift our weight into our right foot and step the left foot up slowly. Plant it on the ground underneath your hip and stand up. From here, it's a simple hip hinge movement. So hip hinge movements are like what you see in deadlifts. So we'll push our hips back in space, break at the hips, nice soft bend at the knees, and we'll just slide the hands down the shins until you feel the hamstrings catch. Now this whole time my back is nice and neutral, my core's engaged, pulling my belly button in towards my spine to prevent an arching in that lower back. And as soon as I feel those hamstrings catch, I squeeze my glutes and stand upright. From here we're stepping the right foot out, performing one squat, touch the ground in the middle of your feet if you can, and then standing back upright with the right knee in front of the chest. In this position, the left glute is squeezing and the left leg is nice and straight and we're going for height up and down, okay? Now we can step the right foot down, roll down, hands onto the ground. From here you can step or jump back into a high plank. So I'm gonna step because it's the first round. We're in high plank position. The next movement we have is a jump up to low squat. Now this one might be a little bit tricky for a lot of people, but I'll show you how we're doing it. We're jumping up, feet come to the outside of the hands, and then jumping back. From here, one push up, and then we start on the other side. So let's lift the left leg and step it forward. Bring the right knee down. Let's get those pulses happening. So squeeze the right glute and stack the joints here, knee, hip, shoulder. Squeeze the right glute. String pulls us forward. Five, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tuck the back toes, stand up into the high lunge, perform one lunge, back knee to the ground. Hands together, twist to the left this time, right elbow to the fleshy part above the left kneecap. Slowly shift the weight into the left foot and step up to the top of your mat. Stand upright, hip hinge, hips back in space, soft bend in the knees, feel those hamstrings catch, squeeze the glutes to stand upright. Now we step the left leg out, one squat, hands to the ground, and then left knee in front of the chest. Try and hold this and keep your balance. <laughs> Don't fall over like I almost did. Before we bring the foot to the ground, roll down, hands to the ground. We'll step back again for this round. One jump up, hands outside of the feet, and back. One push up, and then we can bring the knees to the ground. Have a brief moment of rest before we hit the second round. The second round is exactly the same as the first, but we're gonna do two of everything along the way. Same with the third, we'll do three of everything, etc., etc., until we've hit five rounds, okay? We're gonna move through a bit faster now because I know you're ready to work out and you're feeling a bit warm, so let's get cracking. Hands underneath the shoulders into a high plank, squeeze the glutes, nice and straight and tall. Lift the right leg, step forward. Left knee comes down. 10 of those hip pulses. Make sure the joints are still stacked and you're still squeezing the glute. And 10, tuck the back toes, stand tall. Two lunges, one, two. Twist to the right, left knee on the, left elbow on the knee. Step forward, tap, step back, step forward. Standing up, two hip hinges. One, squeeze those glutes to stand up. Step the right foot out, two squats, one. And on the second one, we bring the right knee to the chest. Hold it for a moment, step down. Roll down, jump back this time if you can. Now we do two jump forwards. 
hands outside the feet, sorry, feet outside the hands, to push-ups. And onto the left side, step the left one forward, right knee down, and these hip mobility little pulses. Five, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Counting goes out the window when we start to breathe harder. Two lunges. Hands together, twist to the left, elbow on knee, shift forward, tap the ground, step back, shift forward, shift forward, and stand up. Two hip hinges. One and two. Set the left foot out, two squats. One and two. Left knee in front of the chest, hold it, find the balance, then step down. Roll down, hands to the ground, jump back. Two jump ups, feet outside the hand. Two push ups. And that's round two done. So I'm sure you can feel that the heart rate's starting to elevate, the breathing's starting to be labored, the muscles are starting to get worked. By the time we get to round five, I promise you, it's a cracking workout. All right, let's go straight into round three. Remember, you can pause whenever you need to, and if some of these reps are beyond you, take it back a notch. If you get to round three and you think that's enough for me, you can do three rounds with three reps, or you can just be in control of your own body, okay? Here we go, nice high plank. Squeeze those glutes, tall through the top of the head. Step forward with the right foot. 10 hip extension mobility pulses. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Tuck the back toes, stand upright. Three lunges. One, two, three. Twist to the right, left elbow on right knee. Step up, tap for one. Step up, tap for two. Step up and plant for three. Standing upright, three hip hinges. Keep that spine nice and neutral and really squeeze the glutes to stand upright. Step the right foot out, three squats. Two, and on the third, right knee in front of the chest. Find that pause position, then lower the leg. Roll down, hands to the ground, jumping back into high plank. Three jump forwards. Feet come outside of the hands. If you want to challenge here, try and extend the amount of hang time with each jump forward. And three push-ups. And onto the left side. Raise the left leg, step it forward. Right knee to the ground. Stack the joints, squeeze the right glute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tuck the toes, standing up, three lunges. One, two, and three. Twist to the left, right elbow and left knee. Shift into the left foot, tap the right up, and step back for one, tap for two, and stand up for three. Three hip hinges. One, two, nice neutral spine. Three, step the left foot out. Squat for one, squat for two, Squat for three, left knee in front of the chest, find your balance, squeeze the glute, nice straight right leg, and then step the left foot down. Roll down, hands to the ground, jump back. Three jump forwards into that low squat. One, two, three, and back. Three push-ups, one, two, three, and knees down to finish the third round. Good stuff, everyone. If you want an extra challenge, those jump forwards, you can really try and get a bit of hang time there. And the way we do that, while we catch our breath just momentarily, I'll show you, is to try and jump and get your hips up above your wrists. So you can really get it to this point there. And obviously, your feet don't have to come to the same level as your hands. If that's not available to you, and we can do this step up, stepping up, stepping back, stepping up, stepping back. Still really beneficial, still really hard, okay? Just gonna adjust my mat a little bit, and then we'll get started on round four. Let's go for it. Hands under the shoulders, tuck the back toes, activate through the legs, squeeze the glutes, nice and tall through the top of the head. Raise the right leg, step forward, back knee down. 
10 pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Make sure it's the hip extending and not the lower back arching. And 1, tuck the back toes. Stand up, 4 lunges. 1, 2, 3, 4. Hands together and twist to the right. Left elbow to right knee. Step up for one, and back. For two, and back. For three, and back. And for four, stand upright. Hip hinge, hips back in space, neutral spine. Hands down the shins. Feel the hamstrings catch. And squeeze the glutes to stand up. That's three, and four. Stepping out to the right. Squatting down for one, two, three, four. Right knee in front of chest. Squeeze the left glute. Feel the nice straight left leg. And slowly lower the right leg. Roll the hands down. Hands to the mat. Jumping back to high plank. And four, jump forward. Here we go. One. And back. Two. And back. Three. And back. Four. And back. Four push-ups. One. Two. Three. And four. And left side. Left leg up, stepping forward. Right knee comes to the ground. Squeeze that right glute. Ten of these mini pulses. Three, four, five. Something I forgot to mention, but obviously you can adjust those push-ups if you need to. Doing them from the knees or lowering the amount of reps we're doing. Tuck the back toes. Stand up into a nice tall lunge. And we're doing four lunges on this side. Three and four. Hands together. Twist. Right elbow on left knee. Step forward. Tap the ground. Step back. Tap the ground. Step back. Tap for three. And plant and stand for four. Four hip hinges. One, two, three, three. Squeeze those glutes. And four. Set the left foot out. Four squats. One, two, three, and four. Knee in front of chest. Squeeze that right glute. Nice straight leg. Really tall through the head. And slowly bring the left leg down. Roll down. Hands to the mat. Nice big jump back to high plank. Four jump ups to the low squat. One, two, Three, four, four push-ups. One, two, three, and four. Knees to the ground. A few big deep breaths. So moving in this way really helps with our mobility and also to familiarize ourselves with these functional movements. Functional movements being things like the squat, the hip hinge, the twist, and the push are the key ones we're going for in this one. Round five coming up. Let's get after it. Five reps on each exercise on each side. Nice high plank position. Active through the legs. Squeeze the glutes. Tall through the top of the head towards the wall in front of you. Lift the right leg. Step forward, left knee to the ground, 10 hip extension pulses. Squeeze that left glute. Imagine that string pulling you directly forward. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Tuck the back left toes. Stand up into your tall lunge, active through the back leg. Five squats, one, two, three, four, and five. Twist to the right, left elbow to right knee. Step up, tap for one. And tap for two. And tap for three. And tap for four. And plant, stand tall for five. Five hip hinges, hips back in space. Nice neutral spine. Feel the hamstrings catch. And squeeze the glutes to stand tall. I think that's four. And five. Step the right foot out. Five squats. One, two, three, 
four, and on number five, we snap back to a position, nice straight left leg, engage left glute, right knee in front of the chest, feel that core engaging, and then slowly lower the right leg, roll down, hands to the mat, jumping back into high plank, five, jump forwards, one, two, three, four, and five. Five push-ups. Drop the knees if you need. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're onto the left side. Raise the left leg. Step it forward, back knee down. Whew. Nice little rest in between sides as we do these hip pulses. That's five, six, seven. Really be conscientious and make sure it's that hip extending, not the lower back arching. Tuck the back toes, stand tall, nice and high through the top of the head, engage the full back leg. Lower that back knee for five, four, three, two, and one. Hands together, twist to the left, left elbow on top of the left, sorry, right elbow on top of the left knee. Step forward and tap for one, and tap for two, and tap for three, and tap for four, and plant and stand up for five. Five hinges, hips back in space, soft bend in the knees, hands down the shins, feel the hamstrings engage, squeeze the glutes, keep the core tucking in towards the spine. That's four and five, left foot out. Squatting down for one, two, three, four, and five. Snap the left knee to be up in front of the chest. Squeeze the right glute. Nice straight leg, tall through the top of the head. Hold it here for one more second. Nice little challenge. And slowly lower the left leg. We're rolling down. Hands come to the mat. Stepping or jumping back to high plank. And we've got our five jump to low squats. One, two, three, four, and five. Five push ups. One, two, three, four, and five. Knees come to the ground. Sit back on the feet. Whew. And that's the end of our workout. I'm sure you'll feel that. Puts a lot of demand on the glutes. That single leg work, that split stance work, combined with the hinge and the squat. Working the glutes in lots of different ways. Glutes, of course, being part of the core, so the core being completely active through that entire workout. Certainly in the planks, the push-ups, the jumps forwards, but also during those hinges and those squats. So. I feel pretty gassed, I feel pretty gassed. Let's come to a little cross-legged seat. We'll just do a little bit of a, a stretch after this. All right, cross-legged seat. If you need to pop a towel or even something like a yoga block or a book underneath your butt so that you can sit like this comfortably, feel free to do that. We'll raise our hands up to the sky and slowly tip forward. We're tipping forward from the hips instead of rounding through the back to keep your chest reaching towards the ground as opposed to your head curling down towards the ground. If you can't get very far forward, that's fine. Even if your fingers are only touching the ground just in front of your feet, totally fine, all right? But allow your hands or your fingers to rest onto the ground wherever's available to you. We're just gonna take this time to recover our breath. Really trying to make sure that this lean forward comes from a bend in the hips as opposed to a rounding in the back. And as we get here for a few breaths in a row, we might start to find that we have a bit more range. So start walking those hands forward if you can. And then we can round round through that spine. 
and as you round, it's still an idea about keeping your chest reaching for the ground instead of tucking your head down. In fact, still think about the length through the back of the head, tuck the chin to the throat as opposed to bringing the forehead down towards the shins. Slowly roll back up and we'll just swap which legs in front just to even up the stretch on those glutes and those outer hips. Hands to the sky and then slowly lean forward. You'll have worked a bit of range into these areas already. Slowly walk the hands forward as you can and then round. Remember, keep trying to find length through the back of the neck. The spine extending up from the thoracic spine into the neck. You can rock side to side slightly as I'm doing. Always like to be a little bit um, active or like to move a little bit in all my stretches. I just feel like it feels good for my body. And slowly sit back up. Fully recommend if you have time to get your hamstrings and get your quads in particular. But that's all the time we have for today. So thanks for joining in. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.